Uh, I was about to ask yeah. your uh, yeah. sister Sam. Mm -hmm. So you grew up in, you come from in, in, in yes? Ireland. And how uh, did you learn to speak the uh, Filipino language? Because my okay. mom and dad spoke Filipino to us yeah. in the house. Oh. Wow. So they kept on speaking it to us. Wow. Yeah. And um, uh, another question. Mm. Do you think that the Banto took with the Sikama somehow is transforming your life? Yes, of course. Uh, of course, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't so. And can you please give us one of the examples and how it changes the, your life in each area? In each area? Oh my gosh, you need to be more specific. Um, I think in terms of my understanding and just my faith in general. I was always the kind of person who was very logical and rational based. I, I wanted an evidence for everything just because of my education. Like that's how I was growing like in, in my college. I, I always wanted proof for everything. And it took a lot of humbling for me to kind of, it took a lot of humbling. It took a lot of humility for me to kind of Received a lot of what I was learning in the beginning, and even just I think just the love that I feel from everyone, and how it has not it's just helped me so much with my faith and my relationship with Tapin Zambi. Um, yeah, and the unity, I think. It's, there's so, so so much unity, I think, in the Bantutopis, the Sikama project, and um, no one's here to serve themselves, except to serve each other, which is, yeah. Wow, thank you. And I know that you know my Mona, Simon Tok, mm -hmm. and can you say a little bit about him and how you... Um, Consider him as the Messiah. Hmm. So this is how Right. Okay. Um. Where to begin? When I first heard about Simon Toko through Pastor Mello, and he was talking about it was through the connection of the twelve tribes of Isolele and how there was a black Christ in Africa. And I personally have never had a visitation or a dream of Simao Toko. <laughs> and I would say it's, it's really through faith that I can receive and accept the teachings and the testimonies of his life. Um, and how it liberated the Congo, his his coming. And then that in connection with the third secret of Fatima. I think for me, I even as I'm speaking, I realize that a lot of what I say is very like knowledge based. It's kind of like from what I've read and what I've heard other people say. So I, I would say that for me, I'm still waiting for a, a very personal um, encounter because from what I speak, it's through what I hear from other people and, you know, what we're learning and what we learn in the Zooms and that kind of stuff. But for me personally, I haven't like seen him, but I know I have experienced the church that, that was built from him, you know. Um, and it's still, I'm still, it's still a learning process for me, but um, I, yeah, I feel like I'm rambling, but I think Simon Toko, the, the name was like a bomb in, this, <laughs> in the awakening, and it put people in, it like, yeah, his name was a bomb. A bomb. Yeah. And uh, yeah. very quickly, because we're about to, to finish, um, how was this first international band to uh, to quiz? Amazing. Uh, 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 short, very short, um, but oh, amazing. Yeah, it's 
it was amazing to finally meet everyone. Um, and it what, felt very natural. What was the best uh, moment that you have lived in this industry? Best moment when we praised and worship and doing the incambo. And last mm -hmm. night, I think, when Mwanda manifested. Um, yeah. And even just being with everyone, I think, the moment that we spent time together, it was just. And uh, and uh, Sister Diana over there as well, she's a little bit quiet. Sister Diana, tell us a little bit more about the trip. It's been an amazing trip, short, so I second that, Sister Sam. Um, looking to many more um, fellowship and experiences to draw closer to Tata. Um, there's much more to learn. Well, um, Mama yeah. Laurinda, <laughs> I see you there as well. Do you believe that Tatan Zambia is visited us in this trip? That, oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> wow, Tatan Zambia is good all the time, and uh, we had an amazing time here in Belgium. All with family. <laughs> oh, I can. I I'm going with a hard feeling, <laughs> warm feeling, I mean, a warm feeling, I mean, a home. Tatan Zambi was really in the midst of us, mm. in the midst and speaking, and it did so much with us, all of us. Uh, uh, the same question I, I'm going to ask uh, Sister again. Do you believe that Zambia has visited you personally in this uh, first gathering in Europe? Yes. <laughs> Just yeah? And can you break it down? No. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I ever was. to the Mwanda Tabelola and very shortly which advice would you give to anybody that would like to be uh, well in Mwanda Tabelola to accept the Holy Spirit? What must they do? Yeah. I think uh, one thing is to surrender yourself. Give yourself to Tatan Zambi. I think it's first the connection, the relationship that you want to achieve. Create first that bond, that close bond that you will miss a friend if you don't talk with for a long time. And you long for that conversation, so you try to make it so consistently and hearing him and yeah, that will create that bond and to do let the Mwanda come more 
is to also sanctify yourself. Fasting is a great way of purifying the mind, clear up the mind, and um, purifying. It's all about purifying, and yeah, then and holiness. Yeah, holiness. Yeah, oh, holiness. that is the word. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sister Sam, do you think that holiness is um, is something that um, uh, draw us close to the Yes. I think that's the key characteristic that sets him apart from all the other gods, uh, his holiness, his righteousness. Because um, in that holiness, you know, you, you, you know and trust that when his judgment is just, um, but yeah, at his sound is holy. And when the Banto Toko Easter spread it, it started, Mama Laurinda was there, Sister Diana and Sister Sam. Uh, from 2020 until now we are 2024. It's like four years already. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's only coming to my mind now that I, it, it's what I'm saying. Do you think that Tatan Zambi waited for four years for us to take our first international trip because four means Yala. Mm -hmm. It was exactly in the year in the year of Yala 2024 as well. <laughs> <laughs> that we are taking it's our first months. international trip. Mm -hmm. Uh what would you like to say about it, Mama Lorinda? Is that a coincidence? It will jump, Mama Lorinda, Sister Diana, and Sister Sam, please get ready. In 2000, we came together, isn't it? Yeah, 2020. Yeah, and then four years later, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I definitely think Yala is just the number four. It is ruling. <laughs> we have to stand up. And this trip, yeah, is really the start of everyone standing up. Even if there are people that are need, that needed to heal, they will be the great among us um, to stand up and take their rightful place to to Yala, not before. <laughs> uh, Sister Diana? Because he's never late, he's always on time, and nothing's a coincidence. Everything is in, in him. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I have here my little sister who likes to say something. And in what? And in his hands. Why are you saying that? Because it is the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. So what's, what's your name? What? Your name? Yemi. Yemi. Thank you a lot. My full long name. My full name. Adi Yemi. Adi Yemi. Which means royalty. Royalty. And we have a summer my royal in our group. One day you're going to meet her. So, um, uh, Sister Sam, was that a coincidence? No. For Yala? No. That's also not a coincidence that all of us are here. There's no real coincidence when it comes to the zombies. So, even the topic to stand up, take action, mm -hmm. it's all connected to Yala, to rule. It's about, and it's, it's more difficult. Yeah, you know, to say than do, but it's all connected to us finally putting to action what we have learned and what we have, what connections we have made in the past four years. So, okay, um, yeah, thank you a lot uh, for your contribution. This was our first international trip after four years, now in Diala. So, Lovuva Moon! Yala! Show the face. Lovuva Moon! Yala! So, thank you. And this is the year as well that we're gonna meet all the Banto Turquoises in Angola in July for Yala as well. Thank you.